Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Nobody asked, but Andrew and I got a brand new puppy. You are going to meet him here in a little bit. We are so excited. I actually haven't raised a puppy since I was like nine years old in the Philippines. So I'm, I'm just over the moon to have our new little guy join the family. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already met him, but I've been dying to show you guys here on YouTube. So let's go. He is sleeping in his crate right now. Let's see if we can wake him up. I have to take him out to go potty and then we are gonna go run some quick errands together and let's take a look. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, he is still sleeping. Come on, hello. Look at the spot on his back. It looks like Mickey Mouse or a bear. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he looks like a little potato right now. So his name is Marble and I'm just going to leave him alone for now. Marble is a French bulldog and he is eight weeks. So he's still a little baby and he's been keeping us up these last few nights. I'm going to wake him up here in a second, but the house is a mess. As you can imagine, there's puppy pads everywhere. There's toilet paper, there's treats, there's food. My schedule is all over the place. I, he keeps waking up at night, like every two hours he barks to go and potty in the backyard, which is good, we're trying to train him, but let me know if you guys have any tips on like how to train them at night to either one, not bark, or just hold it in. I don't know, I don't know what, kind of don't know what I'm doing, kind of. Andrew and I have been wanting a Frenchie for years now. I remember when we were considering on getting a friend for Ginger, we always wanted a Frenchie. <laughs> Ginger is not happy with marble. Not, well, let me take that back. Ginger's very nice. She doesn't do anything. She does growl at marble if marble gets too close to her treats or her food, but that's just her doggy, you know, that's just her doggy language saying like, I'm the queen in this house and don't you try to get my food. Anyway, Ginger is fine. Someone on Instagram actually um, said that a new puppy will give more life to a senior dog and that just touched my heart. Ginger is 13 years old and we really wanted her to have a little friend and... <laughs> Marble, you're the sweetest little thing. Okay, everybody, Marble just woke up. Say hello, Marble. Oh, look at this little guy. Just look at this cute face. Hold on, hold on, say hello. Oh. So he loves biting my jewelry. He always bites these bracelets and my necklaces. And I'm like, no. When we got Marble two nights ago, we actually had no idea of what to name him. I just knew that we had to have him. Just look at that face. He's looking like a potato, a potato. You ready? You guys ready? Okay, let's go. He keeps chewing on my shoes. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do that because that's not nice. That's not nice. Okay, let's show everyone your bag. Oh. Oh, hello, hello. So I'm gonna take him in this little stowed bag because one, it's see-through and two, it's just really cute. Right, Marble? All right, we just got into the car. I ordered some Starbies because I am starving and Marble is right here. I don't know if you can see him. Marble is in his bag. He looks like he is sleeping. He looks comfortable. He loves like curling up into a ball and feeling like he's enclosed and warm and cuddly, you know? So I think he likes this bag. I need to find some really cute, aesthetically pleasing dog accessories. So what better place to go than one, home goods, and we might go to like a Petco and PetSmart. So this would not be an Arvin Olano vlog if we didn't go to home goods, now would it? So let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at what he's doing, everybody. He is such a good boy. Good boy, Marble. Good boy. We just made it to one of my favorite home goods. You've been sharing your finds with me on Instagram and you guys are finding some good stuff. So let's see if we can find any of that 
today. Oh, <laughs> we made it. We made it. We made it inside, everybody. We're gonna make it quick because um, Marble's a little sleepy and I don't want him to be out of his crate for too long. So let's see if we can find anything good today. Let's go, Marble. I wanna check the art section really quick because a lot of the Sarah Brooke pieces are popping back up and I want another one. I want another neutral style to go in my studio and I just can't have enough of her art. Oh my god, what is that? Marble, what's that? Hold on, let's take a look. So they have these like framed, not framed, but like wooden like art pieces. These remind me of something that I've, oh, hello. Call line one, call line one. These remind me of something that you can get from like our house, very like Bali vacation vibes. Not really my style. 249 for that guy. It's massive though, it's really, really big. You know me, I love a good big art piece. Ooh, I love that though. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. Marble, do you see that? Do you see that over there? Oh my gosh, wow, I love that. So neutral and it's like a landscape piece. I love the brown in it, wow. What I love about it is like all of the green and brown tones. It's hard to find art that's neutral like this. It's a very long piece. It's only $39.99. They actually have a second one here. Now I'm trying to think of where I could put her and I have nowhere to put her, so we're just gonna have to leave it behind. Okay, let's see what else is around here. Again, I'm not seeing any Sarah Brooke pieces. <gasps> oh, what's that? Wait, wow. Oh wow, that, I love that. That is stunning. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think my mom would actually love this for her, for her house. <gasps> oh, I love that too. I just don't like that green down there. You could easily probably like take that off though. What do you think? You think mom will like that? I think she would. Let me send her a photo. Okay, I'm gonna call my mom really quick. I actually kind of want one for myself. I just don't know where I would put it. Oh my gosh, can you imagine having two of them side by side? Stunning, and 59, oh my gosh, I can't feel. 59.99, you guys. It's a really big piece. Okay. I will say the quality is not like the best, like the frame's kind of plasticky. That's probably why the price is not that high. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave it behind. I'm gonna see if my mom wants it though. I'm gonna tell her that it's not like the best quality. Oh, no, 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 I am walking away. I am scared. No, absolutely not. Oh my gosh, Marble. Do you think Marble would like that? <laughs> he can't jump on one of those yet though, unfortunately. Ooh, I see something, you guys. I see something. Hold on, Marble. <gasps> okay, do you see that? It's a Ralph Lauren jute rug. Actually, someone on Instagram shared this with me. It's a really nice, thick jute. $49.99, that's it. Oh my gosh, and it's, what is it? Kind of like a four by six. Don't skip out on this smaller rug section because they always have some gems. I'm definitely feeling this little end table, side table situation. It's 129 and it looks like it's made in Mexico. Yeah, made in Mexico, 129 It feels like solid wood. I actually really love the details of the legs. It reminds me of something from Lulu in Georgia. Now, like that, I think you get a better look at the table there. Do I need it? Oh my gosh, where would I put her? Hmm. I love the dark brown wood tone too. I think it'll give it a nice accent in the house. Okay, we are here in the pillow section now and I haven't bought any pillows from HomeGoods in so long because I have the most amazing fragments pillows from some of you guys and some that were gifted to me by the brand. But look at this. How stunning is that? It's a little, wow, I love the colors and the print, but again, I don't need another one. But highly recommend, this is such a good one, $39.99. It's a little bit more expensive. But look at the pattern, it looks like a hand-woven textile. Oh no, 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 Karen, I don't think so. We are not gathering here. <laughs> 
I'm gonna take a quick browse here in the shelf section because this is where I thrive. I find the best things here. You guys know that, the best designer pieces. So let me find a place for you guys. Okay, <laughs> this is stunning. I don't know what stone this is, but it's very pretty. $16.99 each for these. I love the color, like the beige. I feel like I saw this here last time. Great for a coastal home, like the muted blue. $24.99, okay, cute. I like, the, I like the handles. Marble is knocked out. <laughs> okay, nothing else really is popping out at me. Hmm. Oh my gosh, what in the world is this? This is crazy. Okay, can anyone tell me what this weird little stool table is? Oh my god, that looks really strange, but for whatever reason, I kind of like it. <laughs> it's kind of creepy though, no? But would be kind of cool as a statement piece on a console. You guys know I love a good console moment. Okay, nothing that exciting in the shelf decor aisle. Let me just check their doggy section because I need like little waste bags. Okay, has to be cute though. None of these are that cute. Okay, I like the black and white print of this one, but I don't like that it has a kitty. I wish it was only a dog because that kind of looks like marble. <laughs> Let's check. <laughs> I just want like a simple little like beige bone, something neutral, you know, and can't find any. I feel like Home Goods has been getting a lot of like big furniture pieces like this. $599, not exactly my style, but oh my gosh, it's actually Magnolia Home. I'm sure this was probably super expensive. It's $599 and very farmy. Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, wow. I think my friend Crystal has this same exact ottoman and do I need her? I feel like it would look so good in front of a, in front of the bed if you have two. Oh my God, I don't need anything else that's like rattan or wicker. It's only $49.99 though. Let me bring it down. Ooh, it's heavy. Good quality. Oh, I like it a lot. Actually, this could look really cute underneath my console. I have a new console that I got from Amazon. It's stunning. Um, I'm just gonna have to get it because if I don't, I'm just gonna regret it. Oh wow, they have large mango wood um, bowls here. I actually have one of these from like last year. This is such a good find. It's actually really, really big. I don't know if you can tell. Beautiful wood tone. I think it's about like 40 or $50. So if you guys see that, make sure you pick that one up because it's so good. Okay, we're making a beeline for the rugs because no one is there and I see something kind of interesting, kind of. Oh, never mind. It's not that cute. By the brand Dynamic Rug. And I'm just not a fan of anything that has kind of like that velvet texture. Just looks kind of cheapy. Even though it's made in Turkey, you can see like it has more of a sheen. Not a fan. Okay, no good rugs here in this um, home goods. It's usually always at the Summerlin location, which is my absolute favorite. So I'm going to head over there, maybe see if Eric's working today. Woo! You guys, I am dying. Do you see my ears? They are so red. If you are new to the channel, I get really bad hot flashes. And I actually don't even know the reason yet. I keep going to the doctor. They tell me it's allergies, but it really kind of started. Um, sorry about, oh, oh my gosh. No, that's not what I wanted to do. It started when I took Accutane about two years ago. And even after when I was already off the drug, it just, it kind of stayed and lingered. And Anytime it's way too hot outside, I just get these burning hot ears. So if you have had this issue or if you're familiar with Accutane, you've had this before, let me know down in the comments because I would like to fix it. <laughs> so we are here now at the Home Goods in my... Why is it doing that? 
food. I'm hoping there's something in here. I don't know what, but I'm actually in the process of filming a updated home tour for you guys. And I kind of want to switch up my living room. It's been the same for like, you know, a whole year now and I'm slowly getting pieces for it. So let's see if there's anything in this location that would work. Right after this, we are going to go home because Marble is sleepy. He is sleepy. Anyone else have to go to the restroom all the time right when you get into home goods? Because I do. And I always go to the room with the changing pad because I have to always set my stuff down. And now I have to set down a little marble in here. <laughs> I'm going to make this quick because Marble is just, he is knocked out. I want to take him home. I want to, oh, that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. I did a quick scan here at the rug section and unfortunately nothing good and I can't do the rug show today because we got this baby. Oh, what is that? I see a Loloi rug in here though. Stay right there, Marble. Okay, I spoke too soon because there's a little bin Right behind me, there's some rugs, and one says it's by Loloi, 100% wool. It's $399 for like an 8x10. And let's look up what it says. It's actually titled Le Fleur. Okay, so I'm looking it up, and on Google, it looks like it's just like a floral patterned rug. I don't know if you could see that. Not the vibes. That is not what we're going for, so... Okay, we're going to leave her behind. Oh, wow. This mirror is... So pretty. Okay, this one is very pretty. Love the wood tone, like a very warm brown, very classic brown, like, oh, okay. $179.99. I'm actually loving these like cutout details. Gives it a little bit of visual interest. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm wearing today, really casual. Okay, so these chairs are cool. They've had this here for a long time. So I love the mixed tones of the bamboo. You have like the light wash, the warm. It's $2.49 each. She's expensive. It's by... It's by Salamat. And I love the caning in the back. How cute would that be for a dining moment? I hope these go on sale like really soon because this could be a cute little update for the home. He just got home. Marble did so, so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of him. He did not poo in the car, didn't poop in the bag, so... Oh, he actually just went potty and... Ooh, there's like no more light left. Um, he just went potty, he's in his crate now, and I think I just got a package that I've been expecting. So let's go ahead and go get it. Okay, package is here. I'm gonna bring it to the front and, ooh, it looks big. I feel like this is bigger than what I expected. So the package is from Crate and Barrel and this piece is so special because I've actually been eyeing this piece for a while. I just never pulled the trigger and when I saw it, when it first came out, I was just kind of like, no, I don't need anything else. I don't need any, any more of these things. But, okay, here is ooh, box praying that it made it here in one piece and, oh, oh my gosh. So the piece that I got from Crate and Barrel is, oh my gosh. It's even more beautiful in person. It's the Leanne Ford for Crate and Barrel Mary Men Vessel. And look at the size compared to my head. That's a good size, you guys. And I just love, I love the shape. I love her little love handles right there. This is really special because it's actually the very last one here in the country, if I'm not mistaken. I called so many stores and there was one in Washington that had this specific piece and mm, I'm so excited to have her and let me show you what it looks like next to the piece that I already have. Here it is next to the other Leanne Ford piece that I have and I actually got this a while back. I love it so much. I love the shape and I felt like she just needed a friend so they can work together. You know I'm all about the curvaceous and round shapes. I love having those here in my home and fortunately I cannot link this because it's sold out and it's discontinued. This one I'm gonna try to see if it's still available. Anyway, I feel like now is the perfect time to tell you guys about like the updates that I'm wanting to do here in the home. So I wanna change out this 
little light fixture right there. It's actually old. We got that when we first moved in. It's from Home Goods, but it's very like farmhouse, you know, and I'm just I feel like my style has evolved so much since being on YouTube and really kind of honing in on my design style. Another thing that I want to switch out is I want to switch out this little shelf moment here. Again, got this when we first moved in. Oh, I want to update this little corner. This is actually Andrew's like um, little, I don't know what this is called, but it's going into Andrew's office. And right now I have two photos of me and Andrew has this little like wooden piece, which not my favorite. So we're gonna try to do like a gallery wall moment there. So lots of work to do. I have some work to do. I need to respond to some emails. I'm working with a lot of brands this month. So I'm gonna get that started and I will talk to you later. Oh my goodness, you are such a good boy. You are such a good boy today. I know I love you too. All right, go take your nap. Good boy. Good boy, Marble. Good morning, everybody. It is the following day. Yesterday was kind of <laughs> an overly dramatic night for, for us and Marble. He only ate very little last night and it, obviously it got me so worried, but He's fine, he actually had so much energy this morning and he only woke us up about um, two times last night and whew, which was amazing. just got home. I actually went to go grab some coffee with Marble. I got a lavender latte today and mm, so good. I also stopped by Home Depot really quick, which was so confusing. Like I was just trying to find some flat white spray paint and for whatever reason, I could not find it. And I'm doing a quick DIY on my African gourd vessel. It's actually an RH dupe. So here's the vessel that I want to do a kind of quick whitewash treatment. I got done spray painting my Buhera basket and I've got to say it's not bad. It kind of looks like the RH one and I think I just need to like spray paint some details like on the actual basket itself to give it more of that beigey look and because the RH one has more of that beige look. Let me know if I did this spray painting some justice. <laughs> so the first item that I forgot to show you is this crate and barrel terracotta clay vessel. So this was actually a gift from my friend Reg. And the next item is also from my friend Reg. And it is the iconic Jonathan Adler vessel. And I hope you can see that. It's very washed out. Do you see that detail? Reg, thank you so much. And the last item that I want to show you is actually this little organic bowl. Now, I actually DIY this and the reason I want to show it to you is because of the color. Do you see? Do you see how perfect that taupey color is? And I wanted to show you this because I found the most perfect neutral spray paint. It's actually by Krylon and I'm sure this will be available on Amazon. So of course I will link it for you. And mm, I have this kind of just sitting on top of the console. I love this little organic shape. Ah, so chic and the texture is just everything. And then last but not least, let me go show you that lamp because that is what I am most excited about. Let me move Marble's crate. Oh my god, Crip walking in some kitten heels! <laughs> okay, so for whatever reason, I can't put it on the stand. I think I'm not strong enough. I don't know. But here is the light and kind of the style. Look at the shape. Okay. Okay. Do you see the vibes. 
I'm going to wait for Andrew to help me with the lamp, so you're going to have to tune in to the next video to see what the lamps look like here in the living room. Now, I have a very exciting thing happening today, and that is I am going to be on Gretchen Garati's um, podcast, which if you don't follow her already, I'll link all of her socials down below. Make sure you listen to the podcast after you watch this video. I'm talking about how I got started on YouTube, the design process, my inspirations, and how I got to this point essentially in my life. So I'm going to link that podcast down below as well. Ah, I'm so excited. Comment down below if you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.